Um, <coughs> hello and um, good morning and welcome to another uh, Old Nubian video. Um, this is going to be exciting today because um, we're going to work on something that I thought was impossible and that also my colleagues thought was impossible, but I think um, it may be possible. I, I could barely sleep. You see my dark circles like I was too excited when I kind of put things together yesterday night and I was like, okay, this is going to be really fun. Um, this is probably going to be like a multi multi installment video uh, because we're looking going to look at three different texts and we're going to use them to reconstruct each other. Um, but we're going to do it sequentially. So we're going to start with the best preserved text and then work towards the worst preserved text and see what we can, um, <clears throat> let's see what we can improve. Um, so we're going to talk about burial shrouds. And so these shrouds were found, uh, two in Jebada and one in Kasi Ibrim. The ones from Jebada have not been published yet. Uh, the one from Kasi Ibrim has been published by Giovanni Ruffini, um, in 2015 in uh, Nubian Voices 2. Um, this is like uh, part of his edition here. Uh, uh. And so you see it's it's a mess. Um, and the ones from Jebel Ada I've been working on for a while, uh, one of them, and then the other was kind of found as a photograph and it was not recorded before, um, as far as I know. Although Giovanni mentioned, I mean, there is a bit of unclarity about how many burial shrouds were found in Jebel Ada and exactly which ones were which. Uh, in any case, I have two sets of photographs of two different shrouds. Um, and so that's what we're going to work with. Uh, they have not been published. So these shrouds were used uh, in burials. So they were usually wrapping the body um, and um, they contained uh, text. Now, the usage of uh, inscribed uh, fabrics to uh, protect the body of the deceased is a, uh, well, it is a phenomenon in the region. I mean, this already dates back to pharaonic times. Uh, and there is a great book uh, by Adam Weiter and Jacques van der Vliet that deals with a, a, a burial vault in, in uh, Dongola, Empowering the Dead in Christian Nubia, which really also discusses this, um, this use of text in, 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 um, in burial contexts and uh, its meaning uh, in um, in, in the um, uh, uh, Makuritan period. So let's, um, let's have a look at our materials. Um, let's see, here we go here and then I click this. So, um, the first one, so this is the one that, um, uh, um, is the most complete from Jebel Ada. You see it's in a, uh, in a cross shape. Um, the photo is not very good, but as you can see, there's a suggestion that there are letters and we're really going to try to extract as much possible information from this document as we can. Um, you see that I already started maybe a couple of months ago, some transcription, uh, working my way from the uh, right to the left, because it seems that the, the, the picture is better quality on this side. So we'll see how far we'll get, and that's going to be our work for today. I'm not sure if we'll actually get to the end, but we're going to do as much as we're going to do as much as possible. Then um, it occurred to me that this first line that ends in Nisu Partenosa Mariana, um, so the Holy Virgin Mary of the Holy Virgin Mary, is really quite similar to a sentence that I found in the other shroud from Jebada, which looks like this. Um, this is one side and then it continues. So it kind of wraps around the body like this. It's very long. Um, where um, there is a similar sentence that starts somewhere halfway in between. <clears throat> um, and I have the um, feeling that um, there is a considerable overlap between these texts also because of this word duerk, which I think is duerkila, which is uh, like a habitation. Um, so that's our second text. And I actually already finished the transcription of this, but as you can see, there is this large hole in the middle. And I hope that we can use this transcription in order to fix this hole here. And maybe some of the more legible texts, you know, on the sides of this can be used to improve our readings on this side, especially here, 
where there is uh, where there's damage and here as well and then the third text that enters the mix is a burial shot from Cassio Bream, the one that was already edited by Giovanni. Um, and you see again, this is again in a, in a cross shape, it seems. Um, and it starts also here with, uh, this is again, very damaged picture, very bad. Um, but you can see here, um, Maria. And I think here we can see ten duverkla rho kappa lambda alpha with a superlinear stroke, which again would be this. And, and before it, it's probably tak ella, which we also see here. So again, it seems that we can use this text um, to improve upon the edition that um, Giovanni made of this manuscript. And, and maybe they're even similar in length, right? You see here these magical, the magical ending with all these vowels, and we see something similar here. And so maybe there is a really good overlap between these two texts, um, because we imagine these not to be like um, free, uh, uh, free compositions, but, but rather standardized uh, texts used for these specific uh, rituals. So, that will be for one of the future installments. So let's start with uh, this. And this was the photograph as I had gotten it uh, uh, from the, um, um, the Royal Ontario Museum archives. <clears throat> we don't know where the original is. It's probably in Egypt. Um, it's not in the Royal Ontario Museum in, in Toronto, where most of the other Jebel Ada uh, uh, finds are held. Jebada was excavated, by the way, in the uh, <clears throat> first half of the 1960s by the American Research Center in Egypt. Um, and um, I think over the course of four seasons or something, it was really hasty, which is unfortunate because it's a very important site. Um, and most of it is at the Royal Ontario Museum. <clears throat> but part, you know, some of the finds, probably the nicest ones, were left in uh, in Egypt, and unfortunately, this seems to have been lost. So this is the only photo I have, and so what I did is I dumped it into Photoshop and inverted it, and gave it some numbers so we can. Uh, I pumped up a little bit the uh, contrast, so we have maybe a better chance of um, of reading what's on here. And so we have both images that we can use. I'm not actually sure which one is the better one in the end. Um, but we're going to go with this because I put the numbering on here. I realized too late that there's actually a word here. Um, so that's for the moment, I'm just going to call that line zero. Um, and as far as I can see, that must probably be the word amen. Um, right, we see nu, eta, and this is a first hook of the me. And then maybe even here, an alpha may be visible, or here. In any case, let's write this. Now, um, we're going to work backwards. So we see here Tan, Tau Alpha Nu, Mariana. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit more there. Mariana, um, and then we have Partenosu, this is all quite well readable as expected, and then Nisu, so Engma, Sigma, Sigma, Omicron, Epsilon, and here's the P of Partenosu. There is a word here, and it seems to end in Omicron, Epsilon. Not sure what is here, there is maybe one, two, three letters here. And then quite clearly a sigma. So we're just gonna first do a, we're gonna do a first rough edit, let's say, and then um, we're gonna see how we can improve. Um, now the, the the edge is here, and so I read alpha nu nu, 
and then probably there is another letter here. Um, and this new may have a super linear stroke. I actually already know what this is going to say because this is very similar to what's in the other inscription, but technically speaking, it's difficult for us to read. I mean, maybe you can see a tau here, actually, with there is one there. Um, in any case, we probably should dot all of these. Okay, that's line one. Let's go to the next one. Tenna tau epsilon nu nu alpha. And then we have Jimil Jima mu superlinear mu lambda with a superlinear gul, and then what I see before that is again a lambda with a superlinear stroke. Maybe two sigmas, sigma sigma, and epsilon before that. A letter maybe lo and then it becomes increasingly difficult. So I'm just gonna just gonna leave this for the moment. Then we have do work. Actually, is this not is this maybe not a better Hardly. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Do work. And then, so this is the kappa here. And then maybe two letters. One here, one here, maybe one, maybe two. I don't know. Ten na, tau epsilon nu nu alpha. Ela epsilon lambda alpha and then tuck before the tau alpha kappa. The tau is really shady. I see another tau here, probably again tau alpha. Maybe this is an alpha too. Tau, I'm just gonna dot all of this. Maybe a Yota, maybe a Sigma, maybe an Alpha. And then what is clearly readable is Agenda Law Alpha with a superlinear star Gamma Epsilon Nu Delta Alpha Lambda Omicron. Agenda Law. Then there is maybe one, two, three, four, five, maybe four to five letters. And this is Noah. And a bunch of letters before it that I really cannot read for the moment. Okay. Then uh, Udon Katin, Omicron, Epsilon, Delta, Alpha, Nu, Kappa, Alpha, Tau, Nu with a stroke. P, Epsilon, Sigma, Alpha, Delta, Lambda with a superlinear stroke, Pesadil, and then again, Ela, and this unreadable. Then we have the word, words Well and Taka, and this looks like Ika. There's a superlinear stroke here, and this most probably is an alpha. This one here. Let's see with the hook. And this is a kappa. This looks like gula to me. So a plural ending. It's a dative. And then. Maybe a lambda with a stroke above it. Here. Then um, the 
this line here, line seven. Ellen, it is Ellen Gulo. Then we have a Gina. Joklo. No, Joklo. The kappas are really wide in this text. Look how wide it is. Joklo. But what is this thing here? Maybe this is an omega. I'll put this. Um, then we have Ronajin and a bunch of stuff I cannot read here. Okay, then Mishanna, Mu, Shai, Shai, Alpha, Nu, Nu, Alpha, Nape, so all his or her sins. This is Pauka, probably, P Alpha, Upsilon, Kappa, Alpha. Is a bit difficult to read, and there's definitely well, definitely there's an epsilon nu probably before that. Until next line, Targile Tok, mm -hmm. so Tau Alpha Rho Gamma Lambda Lambda Epsilon Tok Tau Omicron Kappa. Gulon, Gamma, Omicron, Epsilon, Lambda, Omicron, Nu. And this should be Guesin, Aguesin. There is clearly a Gima here, so there are one, two, three, four, maybe. Three to four letters. Gima, see the thing here. And then an Epsilon. And then hall. So we see the word here, toek. And then it's law. Lambda Omicron, Gma. Omega, Alpha, Toeglo, Jo, A, and then maybe Nis, I'm not entirely sure, Engma here, Sigma with a super linear stroke, and then we have Nisina before that. Two or pu, a letter, and then omicron epsilon. Guka au. Guka au alpha omicron epsilon omicron epsilon. Maybe two more letters. Not sure about what these two letters are. But before that, Amen. Looks like Enya, Enya Men, Gel, ah, wait, Gel, Q, 
or gen gel okay not sure g minor i guess here epsilon maybe not sure not sure not sure this looks like Nhi. see here whatever this is it has a super linear stroke This sum, yeah. I think this may be this sum. Yeah. Angma, sigma, superlinear sigma, alpha, mi, eta. But as you can see, not very clear. Alpha is pretty clear, mu also clear, eta not so clear. Then we have. Guka here again. Then Kony G a letter, maybe Sigma In. This looks like Kappa Sigma Epsilon Mi. Maybe Cohen K. Co. Maybe two, three letters. On to la, so I'm just reading here in the middle. On to la, pop up, up, kaka to la. Seems like ka ka kir. like that this looks like kappa kappa alpha kappa alpha gamma rho stroke two letters on to la then maybe two letters i can make sense Here we go. Coca. Is Kada Gel Goo? Bunch of stuff. One, two, three, four, five, maybe four to five. Then Ru and a bunch of stuff. Adao, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to bother with that now. This is again Udon Captain. Aso, it seems. Hold on, cotton. Hold on, cotton. Pau, probably.
Tem pão, açúcar. Suggestions of letters, but just gonna hold off for a second. Then we have ten to ek. This looks like a Luxlon, la da la da, to ek, Letter, letter. And this is again also, so again an imperative. There is a gullo at the beginning. Maybe lobda, even lobda gullo. Gullo. And maybe three letters. But logically, this should be an O, and then we have, or Uwa, we don't know. This is Joa. This is not very unclear. Maybe U here. There may be a bunch of letters, let's say three. No. And now we're getting, I think, in the long part, line 17. Uh, oh my god. You think it's readable, but then you see like... Mock. Okay, things are being invoked here. Takilguka. Takilguka, Takilguka. So this ends in Takilguka. This is probably Tok. Those who are forgiven, Tok. Tak. What is this letter? I don't know. Tok Takil Guka. Konjil Guka. To hide. Okay. Gmai here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for a second. Let's see the line above. Or what is readable? Okay, there it's lo. I'm reading here lo. Aira. Aira minna. I think. Oh, 
su Jesus Christ. <sighs> you see it here, right? Jesus crystals, and then pop, 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 a whole bunch of things. So bar two, maybe. De. I'm not entirely sure how many letters is this. Oof. Jesus kisses eight eighty five forty five or something. So there should be a sigma. Five there, and then maybe okay, not bad. Here we can read in tongues. In tongues in era kir then it looks like an angma. Now in tangas, oh, we get again this repetition. Interesting. Enera Sarti. Yeah. No, it continues this invocation. So again, if here, wow. Your in tangas in in tangas. What's this here? In tangas era. Is this Ina Artina? Okay, well, we have again in Thomas E. I'm here, by the way. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe three to four. Pictina. Very fake E and then Nera Gap something. Let's see. We 
three letters and then there's a kappa before that there's an epsilon delta maybe a nu one two three um two letters before that and this yeah and that one two three then there's a gma a letter a wow and then o Unde before that. Maybe this is then the cow. Yeah, that would be logical. Yeah. So we have an enumeration, the cow. Here we see the cow and then law maybe. Epsilon here quite okay. Lambda, lambda. And then the Omicron is still partially visible. The Kello, and then maybe there is simply nothing. Maybe a question mark. So love and this must then be a new with a stroke. Winge stars. Wingy. In any case, there's de here. So there's an enumeration going on. Shade. By the way, I should make some notes actually for. Um, so this is for. Um, Designer of the font shadow. This one should be okay. Mm. Um, where was I? Shade. Than alpha before that. Okay, this is a pretty good line. Because this whole tongue thing continues. Invocation of the name in in tongue is maybe two letters law ka onya End of the line. Here we have another one. This is algae now or something. In Tangus. Right, we see it uh, here in. Am I right about that? Yeah, because you know this is a previous line. What on now that comes before that? Ah, cosmos. Cosmos or what on now? And so this space here that's really a vacat. Cosmos and there is a vac here. Oh. And this vacat is also in the line above, right? You see here, Enera Cosmos. Um, pa, 
cosmos or atona of the entire universe and and in tang yeah tang I think this also is simply in era this is the dotted and then in era in cosmos yeah okay maybe this also should be dotted um anjina jima should be dotted and this should be dotted and then we have in tangas again Ta okay alpha is really quite unclear in tangas Four letters. Unena wisdom. The line begins with. Yeah, there's Thomas here. This should be again Enera. So Thomas. This is all dotted. And a bunch of stuff before I probably we should reconstruct at least in here. Nice. And this also seems to be a vacuum here. This is Pictina. Do I have this? Which line is this? Seventeen. In Thomas Enera. Actually, read this. In tongues, hey, come on, we can read this here. Here, this goes further back. This is all vaguely readable, but I see here in tongues. Once you know. This is all formulaic, then it becomes a bit in tangus, and then there is an epsilon, there is a vacat, and then nera. And this is obviously all dotted. This must be pick pick it pick it yeah P of light and then again in tongues this time quite well readable a near um, Joule. Julj, Junj, Junjur, ah, Junjurtil, Junjurtin from the beginning. Jun. This is badly readable. Junjur. And then a long yota. Tau yota nu. Vakat alpha. Oh, it's difficult. 
to read faculty. And then we have Intangus Enera. Yay. You see, this is not so bad. This is not so bad at all. So RT, that would mean that we have Na here on the next line. Maybe this is even a Mu before Masha. This. And then there's this Fakats. Now it is again more difficult because what we are now entering a different part. Arua, Arua, Gara, Dekalo, Agura, Gara. Okay, let's start there. Dekalo, what do I, where do I read this again? Here, Dekalo, um, form of protect. Uh, Arua, Gara. Omicron Epsilon, Wesk, Weske, Weske Gula, Kir, Kir Torah or something, Kir to letter uh, do letter letter alpha letter letter. So what's before the Kello? Move more difficult. Definitely in here. Thoughts. Letter, letter. Nod. Nodu. Letter, lot down. If there's the Kello here, I expect another De before that, but I don't see it. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Okay, guys, Uka here. Uka, Uka, Aika, Tilly. Kra. Think Angela and, 
Epsilon lambda maybe, one, two, three, maybe two, two, three, then a gemma. This is the gemma here. Maybe another letter. Epsilon, another letter. The Mokonjil. Very nice. Glorious. Okay. Before that. Nisribuka, the holy ones, the saints. Throne. Throw here, sorry. Throne su and the throne of light. Picked na pick it na ah sit on the throne of light akara. Hello. Forever, maybe. Together with, you know, the whatever, the saints and the blah, blah, blah. Or maybe this is Tangsrikuka. Is this a Vakov? Una. Hello. There's a super linear letter here. There's some stuff. And then Guna. And then Ta. Becomes really vague. Ne, this is a affirmative verb form. Ne, hika. Two letters. Joa. Taru. Nok two letters come no. there's a yota before that. Taru okay, so to bless Taru Bunch of letters unclear Jima Hero blah 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 not very clear not very clear at all, okay. Oh my god. Oof. Do I recognize anything? Anj. Oh, Jaradek. Oh, that's so frustrating. Aekos. You see, like the suggestion of words, but 
Okay, here's Pictina again. Two letters in row Gmail. Two letters here. Letter equals N A K N A. Kane before that Kochra read your nonkan Koj that is all very unclear. Okay, in this line, it's even more vague. Ingis, Tangis, Sawar, Tungisu, Jara, Injara, Two Ueko, so not the So close, you're so close. You're so close to reading it. I'm gonna start more or less here. I read Sigma Epsilon. Letter, letter, letter. Maybe tau, maybe alpha. No, not at all. Letter, letter, angla, sigma, sigma, alpha. A bunch of letters until I can read two. Letter r and two u wek. I think then probably like teal then a bunch of letters how many one two three four five six seven seven to eight then nodes 
Ну така. Ну така не. Ну така на ло. Лордшип. Идан уера. Not gonna love, yeah, okay. Oh, next line is even worse. Oh, where can I get a foothold? Oh, oh, Takun, okay, law. Let's start there, let's start here. Kappa, Lopta, Omicron, maybe. Where was I here? Oh, duck. Letters. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven letters. Then, copper row here. Then a whole bunch of things. <sighs> and then a whole bunch of things. I mean, no, I'm not even going to try. I'm not this line, no, just, I mean, there is this, okay, fine, 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 fine. I can read Aso and then Tar here. A bunch of nothing, add two. Maybe and then bunch of nothing. Do I read here Tichka? Something like justice. Tich. No, Tichkatika. Tichkatika. There we go. Impossible. Tichkatika. Tichkatika. Here it is. Tau with Zublin Sok, Jima Kappa, Alpha Tau, Tau, Tichkatika, Kir. Prozotin. Okay, so better than I thought. La gilla, tilla, la in any case. Aila. Gu. Ah. Pauka napena. Pauka napena. Very difficult to read. Ukun. Okay. 
ist Git. Here is Git. Le is Git Lagilla. Impossible. Is Git La. Gi is Git Lagilla. Ah, there. Forgot that these are again short lines. <sighs> okay, um, we read K here. Uka, I read. I read Uwe. And then top Yeah, much more can be read. Kian, Kian Tauka, maybe Kian Tauka, oh my god, this is all should be dotted. For that, ton era ton era ton one, two, three, four, maybe four to five. Becomes like impossible. Ellen Gulo, probably something like this. Jeong Gukab, Ellen Gulo, blah blah blah, into the ages of ages. That's any case, right? This L. Ulo Joalo Koalo And then we have Amen One, two, three One, two, three, four, five, six, seven And then we have all these holy names, Oxantios. Do we know these names? Um, from other type to type. Or because these are all these holy names. Oxantios. Is this somebody? Just have to. Oh, oh where is Dixie? Where is Dixie on this keyboard? 
XC that's never used. These are all these magical uh, sequences, by the way. letters, leos, and then we have seven times a, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have another eos, and then we have the e here, Maybe four letters. And then we have these letters, and then we have another name here. No idea. A bunch of letters ending in T's or something. Four to five letters, T's, and then we have. Seven epsilons, and then we have Anaranias or something. Anaranias. Oh, 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 oh. There you have one, two, three, four, five letters and then toss. One, two, three, four, five, toss. Up, 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 and then it becomes completely unreadable. Mm, one, two, three letters. Kappa, epsilon, epsilon, letter. Maybe some magical things. And then what is this? This is Coptic Petaphos.
the crystals. Two. Letter in. Um, how, how do I write a psi? Where is the psi? There we go. Psama. This is anapausis or something. Anapausum. Yeah. Then it's Greek. Anapausum. Probably if somebody who knows Coptic should uh, look at this. Coptic and Greek. Kai Nuktos. Where is again this nice? Sign. For the end, oh, where's the stupid end sign? Ugh. This is uh, uh, should be somewhere here. I remember the end sign being used somewhere here, and we're gonna just find it somewhere here. This one. Okay. And. Nuctos La Lunca Nuctos La Lunca Cusa Hemeras This is such crazy Greek. Hemeros. Also definitely should be dotted. Mm. Okay, so this is then the end. Um,
So maybe this is then the first attempt. Um, It would be good to find a parallel to this. Does this actually end with all these nice vowels? No, this one doesn't have the vowels. Okay, so let's say that this is the first pass. We did really quite a bit. These lines still remain very difficult, but now actually I see that there are things to be read. Sometimes from a distance, there's definitely Deccan here. Deccan. And there is In Til here. Some stuff. And then there is Eno. Then there's Tool here. Two letters in a row. Maybe an alpha. Two more letters. The Kel. Ah, this is the Kello. Another enumeration. So, okay, here we have uh, well de something like this. Ow uh, well de to. Maybe one, two, three, four, four letters. The law. The rest is more difficult to read. This starts with tin. Maybe well, will be Taka here. Tau Alpha Kappa Kappa Alpha. No, I don't dare to say this. Twee. This is two or three letters. Then certainly Kappa Alpha. Then U. I think Ungera. Sometimes from a distance you can suddenly see what you couldn't see up close. Mm. There's clearly era here. I think a vacant in between.
Shots and command. This is in Nalo. I think. Up. Imperative form, nasal here, Jew. Probably a knee before that, and a bunch of things I cannot read. Probably like magical signs. This is a lobby soon. Here. Then three letters and again something superlineated. I have no idea what this is. Okay, good. Well, let this be it for today. And then um, the next time we're gonna compare what's going on here with what's written here and see if we can make these texts help each other. All right. Well, this was actually more fruitful than when I th when I began this. So um, um, I really think that we can actually will be able to um, to read most of this text. Um, this is all late Old Nubian, um, and uh, especially the verbal forms look really quite uh, different from uh, from classical texts. So uh, we'll see how much. Um, after reading, we'll be able to understand. So that's gonna be fun. All right, that's it for now. And um, I'll be making the next installment on these uh, shrouds very soon. Ciao.